to the Senior Summit. We're leaving town, baby. Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here to interview Janet Sigler. She's from Comfort Keepers. Um, she will be out at the Senior Summit, which is May 18th, from 9 to 2, outside of Centerville at the 4-H Fairgrounds. So we need to know at your booth what Comfort Keepers provides. What information could people pick up from you there? Comfort Keepers is an in-home service. We provide um, premier in-home personal and companion care for seniors. It's all adult care and also as respite for those that have, are the main primary caregivers of their loved ones. Okay, so um, if a person, how do they know if they could qualify for your services? Well, Would they have been in a hospital or something, or can they? That's I mean, the personal care side of it, but there's also the companion care side. Okay. The effects of dementia are increased by 64% because of loneliness. Our service of companionship alone mm -hmm. can reduce disease and increase well-being. And that's where, that's where our services start, is the companionship. The, each client that we have, they receive the level of companionship that helps with well-being. Okay. In 2008 alone, the, when the home care industry was really in a booming state and just coming into, um, into its own, the, we reduced the hospitalization costs by $25 billion nationwide. Wow. We are a, a gap service. Right. In the home, yes, as companions for those that need help with housekeeping or medicine reminders, rem remember to stay hydrated, to transportation. The loneliness is so big because they can't get to right. the senior center. Right. And one of the advantages of Comfort Keepers is that because we are there with them, they can, and they're in their home, they're going to the church facilities that they, the place where they want to worship. They're keeping up with their civic um, duties and their um, their civic desires, their their activities. Right. Life is normal because Comfort Keepers is there. Now, do you find that your clientele are the people themselves, or is it a lot of times family members that seek that out for their parents? It's, or it's is both it? ways. Okay. Every um, different family members call because it's different families that are, ta are the caregivers, that's really a lot on the personal side. Right. When someone has had an ailment, has coming out of, has fallen, broken a hip, they need someone to come in to help them bathe. That's the personal care side. And that's the, those are the people that a lot of the times it's the family coming up and saying, so we a, need help. A, a neighbor, let's say that someone is there alone and they know that they're lonely. That, that neighbor could get your telephone number and maybe talk to their neighbor about, why don't you call Comfort Keepers and see if someone could come out and spend some time with you? You know, that would help alleviate some of that loneliness. Right. I mean, like I had told you before, I, we do telephone reassurance. And I know there's a lot of people out there that could use a phone call that, how are you doing today? Well, you know, are you feeling okay? Have you gotten your medicine taken? All those types of things. We call that the TLC call. Yeah. Where we would make a daily call, and we're doing it right now for a lady whose daughter is out of town. So the daughter can't call every day. Right. So our client care coordinator, Jessica, she's going to be calling her today. I called the lady throughout the weekend and yesterday. Hi, this is Janet. I'm from yeah. Comfort Keepers. Yeah. We're just calling to see how are you today? How are you feeling? Do you need anything? Comfort, companionship, but also that, that check to, um, to know that they are okay and that I email or text the daughter really right. quick. Right. But also, I can, in the tone of the voice, I can tell whether or not that person is having a bad day. Yeah. yeah. And I can alert the family. So tell me about the other thing that you said you have going on oh. on May 8th, is May it? May 8th, yes. The Eastern Shore Financial Planning Workshop was something that I developed 
because of the need that I have seen in the community of people transitioning into senior living. Mm -hmm. I have seen, met with people that don't know the difference between an assisted living and a progressive facility. So I have invited those different types of housing, um, like a, a Heron Point or a Bailey Chase. Right. Uh, an assisted living, Rock of Ages out in Rock Hall. If you've never seen it, it's a lovely facility. Or a Candlelight Cove. Or what's really interesting is um, Linda Elbin's place, the Dixon House in Easton. It's the, um, I think it's the oldest nonprofit in the state of Maryland. Okay. And it's a lovely place as well. So we're partnering with the, the housing, senior housing um, industry, but also the financial advisors, those trusted advisors that um, help with knowing when to start Social Security, um, the lawyers, the insurance agents, the CPAs, the wealth managers, and the financial advisors. They're coming in and giving of their time to talk about their services. It's a snippet. It's 15 minutes for each talk. Okay. And then we have a short Q&A, but it's a beginning. Right. And there's also, of course, hospice. The valuable resources, the, um, I'm, I'm taking this to five counties. Right. And so I have three different hospice representatives coming in throughout those counties. You wouldn't believe the free services they offer that people have no idea. Right. But this is still, it's important because it helps us to know, to plan. Right. You it, have to know what's available and what's out there. Right. Um, you know, like I said before, the, the housing, when we were talking, is something that's really hard for someone when they try to go to get their own apartment and there's a wait list and they may be years getting in to some place that's more suitable, that isn't as big and as much to take care of. Well, there are different different levels of housing, right. different types of housing, and it's a transitional thing. You have to know what's out there right. in order to plan long term. The um, workshop in Queen Anne's County is on May 8th. It is, is at Compass Regional Hospice at 160 Coursevale, 530. Okay. It's going to go until 8. It's a bit of a long evening because of so much information, but we are just trying to tap into it to give directions to open the conversation so that the community can know the questions to ask right. and then where to go for the answers. We are cycling through five counties throughout the year. So if someone wants to get in, in some information and they don't get out to the Senior Summit, is there a number that you could give us for Comfort Keepers that they could call? Absolutely, 410-822-4414. One four. All right. Um, anything that we need to know as far as your booth? Are there going to be things that you're going to have available there? We're going to talk about Comfort Keepers there. Um, this is an important initiative, and I'd like to share this flyer with you. Okay. But Comfort Keepers is, is unique because of the care that we provide. Right. It's our, own, our um, continuum, of, uh, continuum of care that starts and it's all, we are an RSA, a residential service agency, but it starts with a plan of care that is monitored by a RN. We have a client care coordinator that comes into the home between the RN visits and she looks at the, the um, first of all, the RN's assessment is very thorough, right, right down to a skin check. And then Jess, our client care coordinator, goes in and she will look more of a cursory view. Is the person alert? Um, how are the meds? Because Jen, our RN, will look at the, um, the meds mm -hmm. and make sure that there are, there's no contradictions, that she works with the pharmacy and she works with the doctor's office to make sure the meds are good. And then um, Jess comes in and makes sure the meds are good and that the client is in good shape and there haven't been any changes if there's a plan of care. Right. Jess will do that. But unique to Comfort Keepers is our caregiver mentor. Her name is Lynn. She goes into the home and she evaluates the caregiver to making sure that we give the premium care that our clients are accustomed to and should receive. 
And then each of these people comes back into the bullpen in the office, um, and they make sure the plan of care is right. Right. We also have two schedulers, Shelley and Depina, and they create what's called a permanent plan. And this permanent plan is developed so it's the same two to three people going into the home. Right. So it's not a constant um, new people coming in. So and Which isn't good. Which isn't good. No. <laughs> because we get to know each and every right. person personally and they get to know us. Yeah. Our mission is to treat our clients the very same way that we would treat our family members. Right. And we have Angela Rodono, she is our, our recruiter, and um, she does a fabulous job. She maintains a roster of 150 caregivers, and they're each vetted through the federal and state agencies, and they're fingerprinted through the FBI in the state of Maryland, background checks, and if they, do, if they fall short, they're not hired. Right. So, it, and that's important when someone's coming is. into your home. You want to make sure that, you know, they're protected. And and our seniors are one of our most right. vulnerable populations. Yes. So we do everything that we possibly can to make sure that they remain safe. Well, we thank you for oh, coming I'm in. Oh, I'm so thankful and to I be here. And I look forward to seeing you out at the summit. Likewise. And hopefully, people will. You know, stop by the booth and get your information. Thank you very much for your time, Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. Friday, May 18th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. At, at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park. Park. Woo!